What is up ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm really excited to bring you all a new tutorial on the new zombies map, the Iron Dragon. Now, to start this easter egg you're going to have to do a few things first. And the first thing you need to do is upgrade all the bows. Um, this tutorial is going to assume you know the location of everything and how to upgrade all of the bows. There will be a tutorial for all of the bows on my channel very soon. So, to jump right in, go ahead and upgrade all the bows and then have one person on your team put down their upgraded bow and go down to the teleporter. Now just a side note, um, you don't actually have to do the plunger thing. That's a misconception. You can start this as soon as you get the regular bow, but you need an upgraded bow to do the next step. So, go down to the teleporter and get the bow and shoot each one of these little orbs on the end of the rods of the teleporter and it's going to activate the next step, which is you have to go around the map and shoot sparks. Now, I'm going to show you all the locations of the spark. Um, I'm sorry, all the lo possible locations of the spark. And these do have to be shot with an upgraded bow. Um, and if you kill zombies, it'll actually mess it up and cause you to fail quicker. So avoid killing zombies at all costs. And you should be golden. You should have plenty of time to search the, each of these spots for the locations. Just kind of make everyone get their own area. And... Uh, each everyone get their own little sparks and usually you have one person gets about two there may be one guy that only gets one but the uh, first location there is going to be next to the power and then you're gonna look for the next one over here at the Samantha's room at the globe number three is going to be right there in that corner number four up on the clock um, I didn't actually get the recording for the uh, last one here or not the last one but the next one it's actually up there on that little walkway right where Gobblegum is, up there uh, right outside the computer room. It's going to be, um, if you walk past it, there's going to be, uh, I think, a locker. And right above that locker, there's going to be a clock on the wall. The spark will spawn there. Okay, so the next one you're gonna, is going to be next to Quick Revive on that cl uh, phone. And then the last two here is going to be one on that tire and then the last one i didn't actually get it recorded either but it's going to be directly above stamina up in the top left corner of the wall as soon as you walk in that door above stamina up that has the launcher next to it it's going to be on the left side on some boxes that's going to be the last location for the spark now just now, like I said, if you hit all four, you'll hear a confirmation sound. Um, if you hear a, like a buzzer sound, that means you did not do it correctly, and you will have to actually wait till the next round to do it. Um, later in the rounds, you will hear the growl at the start of the round, but it doesn't mean you have to do any do it again as long as you uh, did it correctly the first time. Now, once you hit all four, you'll be able to teleport, and then as soon as you teleport with all four players, you're gonna have someone look to the left. You're gonna see a blue vial on the ground. Make sure someone picks that blue vial up um, and then have everyone immediately run around the room and hold square on everything and just until you hear someone hears a click. That means you picked up the fuse that you need for the death ray. And then uh, lastly, you want to make sure that you remember the code on the safe. Now, that's going to be important for entering in the computers. Now, after you get out of the teleporter, you're going to walk back up to the top of the castle and actually place that fuse inside of the death ray. Then you want to put the death ray into the teleporter. I'm sorry. Put the death ray into protect mode. It's going to be over there. There's going to be a little panel on the opposite side there that you can hold square on now and be able to put it into protect mode. After you put it into protect mode, um, you're going to walk over to the nearest computer over there on the right side and uh, enter the code that you've seen on the safe with the death ray active in protect mode. Now, once you do enter the code correctly into the computer, you will hear a confirmation sound, and then you want to make your way back down to the safe to grab some items out of the safe, and you can move on to the next step, which is powering up the Tesla coils at the uh, death ray station. Oh, yeah, now, Simon says pretty much. what you want to do is you want to take, take the uh, two canisters there yeah, and the chip, and you want to place them in their the respective locations. Go. The canisters yeah. will go into each of the Teslas, and then you will place the computer chip into the computer and you'll be able to play a game of Simon Says. Now, um, if you see those symbols there, our uh, callouts for them were bracket, circle, triangle, and rocket. Now, 
once you play a game of Simon Says on each computer twice, um, we had to, the stuff can be a little finicky, so you have to try to set the death rate into attack mode and do it, and then protect mode and do it. You just got to work around with both of the computer it's terminals. Coming, dude, it's coming. Um, after you do that, you'll want to walk around to the back of the uh, death uh, rate control started. panel there, and you'll see a green dude. button. And you'll be able to hit I that green button. It's going to activate the next step. There, it's going to crash that big old rocket there. What the fuck is happening? Oh shit, why is my... What's happening? Oh! And once the rocket crashes, you're going to make your way down there and grab the golden rod. And you'll want to work your way down to the knight statue there where you get your right, bows. And uh, place the golden rod there. And then this ghost is going to appear. You're going to want to follow it around and kill zombies with the respective bow. If you see at the bottom of my screen is highlighted blue, that means the person with the blue bow has to kill zombies within that circle. The zombies themselves do not actually have to be in the circle as long as the person with the bow is in the big circle. You'll be fine. Um, you want to do this four times. Just follow the ghost around each time and kill zombies at each location. The only time it's going to give you trouble is when you get out here to the one next to double tap is that the stone is actually missing so what you have to do is teleport again to the past by hitting the sparks and uh, you will want to grab the stone out of the little chest that's in the back of the room and uh, this one can be a bit tricky too because uh, it takes a while after you hold square on it to, for it to open um, I don't know if you have to hit another you know, activator in the room while you're there or not, but right. I know that on another game when we held square on it, it didn't open and we had to teleport again should. back there. Um, it should work. But um, just go I'm over, hold square that. on it, and you should hear a click. Have oh, someone yeah, wait near it to see cool. if it opens. Thing. And you should have everyone else go around the room just holding square just to be that safe because uh, there may be another activator that opens it after you hold square on it. But, um, it yeah, after you grab the piece out of the box you'll be able to go place it back where that ghost was and your double tap and finish charging up the ghost now after you charge the ghost for the last time it's going to turn a bright red color and uh, you're going to be moving on to the last step so it's important to make sure that you are 100 percent ready to do this because once you start you cannot leave the boss fight and uh you'll if you die you guys have to start all over so go ahead and grab all your pack-a-punch guns whatever you need uh it's good to have aftertaste because the round does not change in there, so you literally have unlimited aftertaste. But um, the keeper is going to go into the gravity room here, and once it does, it's going to spawn in another pyramid from the moon. Just place that blue vial you picked up from the first uh, teleport way back when into the corner that it's missing from, and then have everyone stand on the blue little panels there and uh, place their gravity spike trap down all at the same time. And you'll be teleported into the boss room. Now, once you get in here, um, there's not going to be pans or anything. This is just a clip from later. But um, the boss is going to be a big keeper. And you want to uh, make note of those big blue pillars. Those are going to keep you safe during his uh, lightning attack. But he essentially has all the same attacks as the bow, just in his own way. But um, what you want to do is uh, kill all the skeletons and dogs and panzers that you see. Uh, I recommend bringing a haymaker because that shit kills all of them, dude. I just killed seven panzers right there in this small little snippet. So, um, the way you damage the boss and ultimately defeat him after four rounds is uh, whenever you see the spark go into the middle of the room uh, and the keeper appear above it, you'll want to just take the gravity spikes and place them down right at the spark, not 100% in it, but you can do it right at it, and uh, you'll be able to stun him and then shoot him in the chest with all four bows at the same time. Not at the same time, just everyone be damaging him at the same time. Uh, and then after you do enough damage, you'll kind of stagger, and then Panzer will spawn, you'll get some max ammo, etc., etc. Once you do that four times, you'll be able to grab the summoning key out of the pyramid like I just did, and then you'll, Richtofen will ask for more power. So, what you need to do to give it more power is eventually work your way up to this green computer here and place it into the computer and you will spawn the last step and, and you will be done with the Easter egg. Congratulations. 
Now, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys and show the cutscene or anything because I think after all that work, you deserve to not have it spoiled for you. Yeah, but yeah, guys, that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you guys next time. Dude, you better not miss this shit.